Welcome to Geography with Gina. Today we are going to calculate gradient. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. In today's video, you are going to learn how to calculate gradient on a topographic map as well as on a autophoto map. So, what is gradient? Gradient is the relationship between vertical interval and horizontal equivalence. Gradient is used to determine whether the slope is steep or the slope is gentle. The formula for calculating gradient is vertical interval over horizontal equivalence. So here I am holding a map of Stellenbosch. It is a topographic map. The scale is 1 is to 50,000. So let's make an example of calculating gradient. Okay, the first question says, calculate the average gradient between spot height 1517 in block H15 and spot height 1284 in block G15 on the topographic map. Show all calculations. So firstly, if you are not given the formula, you must write the formula down. G equals to VI over HE. Next, you need to calculate your vertical interval. So for you to calculate vertical interval, you have to have your two points. In this case, you are given spot height 1517 in block H15 and spot height 1284 in block G15. So now you check which one is the bigger number and which one is the smaller number. So you need to subtract the smaller number from the bigger number. So you're going to say 1517 minus 1284. And the answer is 223 meters, I mean 223 meters. Why did we say meters? Because the spot height are in meters. Now that we have found our VI, we need to find our HE, our horizontal equivalent. And how do we do that? So you need to measure the two points given. So you go to your map, you place your ruler. And when you put your ruler, you can see it is about 5.5 centimeters. Now that you find the measurement of the two points, which is 5.5 centimeters, you need to convert it into meters using the map scale. So you are going to say 5.5 centimeters multiply by 500. Now, where did we get this 500? We got it from the map scale. So the map scale is 50,000. So that 50,000, you need to um, divide it by 100 to give you in meters so when you say 50,000 divide by 100 it gives you 500 that's where we got the 500 and when you say 5.5 centimeters times 500 gives you 2750 meters so that's your HE then now that we find our VI vertical interval and horizontal equivalent HE Let's write it down as the formula says. Gradient equals to VI, which is 233 meters, over HE, which is 2,750 meters. Then the next step, you need to divide both sides by the VI. So you are going to say 233, 233 divided by 233, and it gives you 1. And then you're going to say 2,750 divided by 233, it's 11.80. So you put it as a ratio. The final answer must be in a ratio. This means for every one meter you rise vertically, you cover 11.80 meters horizontally. Now that you know how to calculate gradient on a topographic map, Let's calculate gradient on a autophoto map. I'm still using the map of Stellenbosch. However, this is an autophoto map and the scale is 1 is to 10,000.
Now the question says, calculate the average gradient between 7 and 8 on the autophoto map. Show all calculations. Now, if you are not given the formula, please write down the formula. Gradient equals to vertical interval over horizontal equivalence. The next step, you need to identify the two points, point 0.7 and point 0.8 on the autophoto map. Okay, now we are looking at point 0.7 and you can see the arrow is pointing the contour line. We are looking for the height of this contour line. So if you don't see it near the 7, you need to trace it. You need to trace this contour line until you get its height. So we are tracing it and as you can see, the height of this contour line is 120. Now let's look at number 8. It's pointing the contour line. And when you trace it, you can see it's 240. Now that we have identified our two points, um, we need to calculate vertical interval. So how to calculate vertical interval? You subtract the smaller number from the bigger number. Vertical interval equals to 240 meters minus 120 meters. And the answer is 120 meters. The next step is to get your horizontal equivalence. How do you do that? You do that by using your ruler and measuring the two points. Thereafter, you convert into meters. From the two points, I get 10.8 centimeters. Then you are going to convert the 10.8 centimeters into meters by using the map scale. So you are going to say 10.8 centimeters multiplied by 100. Now, where did we get 100? We got it from the map scale. The map scale of the autophoto map, it's 10,000. So when you say 10,000 divided by 100, it gives you 100 meters. Therefore, 10.8 centimeters times 100 gives you 1,080 meters. Now put your answer according to the formula VI over HE, which is 120 meters over 1,080 meters. The next step, you are going to divide both sides by the VI. You are going to divide both sides by 120. You're going to say 120 divided by 120 and that gives you 1. Then 1080 divided by 120 gives you 9. So your answer must be in a ratio form. 1 is to 9. So what does this mean? It means that for every 1 meter you rise vertically, you will cover 9 meters horizontally. So it shows us that the area from 7 to 8, it's steep. Thank you for listening. I believe that you are able to calculate gradient on a topographic map as well as on an autophoto map. So please practice, practice and practice.